Those sand dunes were very hard work. This is not, however, much better. We are in Blooms, which is at the end of the North Pier. The new Furbish bar this season. And this is to introduce my video for Sunday, the 4th of October. I'm so very pleased to be in this bar and also so very pleased again on this Saturday to talk to all of my viewers and to thank them all for what they've done for me. Remembering that this channel now is your channel and I'm thrilled during the week to make this into a video for myself to upload every Sunday. I enjoy this and I do hope you enjoy this particular video as well. A superb view from these windows. There's the North Pier as a whole. There's Blackpool Tower and of course the Irish Sea. And I'm going to just swing round to show you a view from another window. Again, unspoilt views looking towards the promenade. Visits throughout the week to the Wilco store, the Premier Inn, and there's a visit as well to a shop and lots of little trinkets, hopefully. So I do hope you enjoy the video. Bye bye now. A very good morning to everybody. It is another Monday and how quickly they seem to come round. Brian Rose's picture in front and this morning I need the help of himself and the window of his gymnasium. And looking out of that window, please notice that contractor there with the hose watering down all that concrete that has been put in that lorry. Here comes the scoop and in goes the concrete and as you can see a lot of debris come up. That tradesman there must make sure that that concrete is hosed down. A very important job here. When these lorries arrive everything must be hosed down. Another look. Here comes the scoop. into the lorry and please notice all the debris that comes up. That is a very, very important job that this contractor is doing with this hose. He must make sure everything is completely hosed down. Again, a look at that same procedure. There we are, and I'm going to take you now for a view of the front. We are outside now, and as you can see, progress now into the start of halfway up Queen Street. This is the side of the front here. We are now at the rear of the building of the Wilco store, and you're looking at that piling rig with the auger at work. I hope you can see it at work. Now I'd like to explain quite a bit here. It is hoped that you find it all very interesting. I did. And this is why this piling rig has arrived. Please notice the road that I'm showing you right in front of that piling rig. It is through the help of the contractors here that I am able to tell you this. The footings of the Wilco store are in fact deeper than the road area and the subway. So they're going to have to strengthen the footings there so as when they take down the building at the rear, it does not fall over sort of thing. This is what I was kindly told. So in short, the footings of the Wilco store are lower than the road and the subway. 
it needs support and hopefully you can see some large metal frames they will do the job can you see them at ground level i haven't got a very good angle here due to the traffic so i'm hoping you pick those out to the left of the rig you may see them clearer here they're right in front of you now on the ground with a view now hopefully of the auger at work we leave this wilco store and progress to our next venue the front of the premier inn and the arrival of one of many many tarmac lorries that will be required here over the next couple of weeks what you see being poured out is part dried concrete i've just been told that otherwise i wouldn't have known would i i was kindly told this is part dried concrete now this will act as a sub base for all those pavement tiles that you were showed last week so this is what is happening at the front of the premier inn this monday morning and this operation will be needed at the front the side and the rear of this premier inn including the laying of the pavement tiles and all of this work you see in front of you about three or four weeks project a few paces to my left and i can show you an area that has already dried out that's our visit today to the premier inn a return visit to the rear of the Hounds Hill Shopping Centre where an enormous project is expected to start in the very near future. Just to show you that all the plant machinery that was needed for those trial holes, the machinery as you can see is all gone and the three or four trial holes all filled in. So all that awaits now is the start of this very big project at the rear of the Hounds Hill Shopping Centre. A very good morning to everybody. We start today's videos with a view of this piling rig and auger at work along the side of the Wilco shop. As you will notice, the piling rig has moved down from where it was. And I'm hoping you are enjoying the views now of the auger at work. There's where it was up there, as you remember. And just going back, we can again see the auger at work. Yes, this has got to go down the whole length of this side of the Wilco store. I'm just going to turn the camcorder to my left and you will see the area that has already been attended to the piling rig and ogre has already done their work here and now it has as said it's got to go for, it's got to go down the whole length of this side of this wilco store The weather forecast is very favourable for the whole of today. However, it is expected to worsen and to get colder and possibly rain about Thursday. So I'm going to use today as much as I can. So 
There's another look at the piling work and the auger. And now I'm just going to press on now. We are across the road now. Now, what is happening now is I'm going to take you to a visit, a visit to a shop, an actual bed shop. Now, many, many videos ago, I was able to video this young man and his partner's shop selling beds in Talbot Road. However, unfortunately, the first and second shops gave them problems. They had leaks and other things wrong in the shops. So those two shops were closed down, unfortunately. Ross, one of the partners, has invited us back to see this new shop that only opened up four days ago. Very, very close to their previous two ventures. They persevered. They persevered, all of them, to produce this shop selling beds in Talbot Road. Four marks to them. So this is where we are going now. We're walking away from the Wilco store and I will see you when we get opposite this new bed shop. Top left is the Wilco store. Then Mark Ellis, Heron Foods. And next to that is the shop that we're going to visit, their new actual bed shop. There's the sign of the shop and it is in actual fact our bedtime. So let's go in and see it. We are inside the shop now and I'm asked if I can myself take you for a tour of all the beds that are available here. Unfortunately, Ross is not available to do this commentary, so I'm going to do it for him. A lot of effort has been put into the presentation of this shop, as regretfully this shop had a problem. It has now been sold and it's been fitted out beautifully. Quite a lot of money invested in this shop and this is the result of that. The bits, they are virtually top of the range. Here's one here, and this one you get three drawers with. That's the full bed price, £239. Moving up now. Oh, Ross has appeared. Hello, Ross. Hello. Right, I, I shall carry on then. Now, I'd like to show you this here. Healthopedic. The mattress that conforms to your good self. I'm just going to go back a couple of beds. Very impressive these beds. And they come in all these colours. All these colours are available. And I'm going to hold this up so as you can see the prices. I'm going to go down them very slowly. Turn to the top and then again all oh, these are miles to point out the company is called Highgate Highgate Beds and now they come 
these are the prices these are the complete bed prices next door to that bed is this one here now this one Ross told me earlier in the morning this is an ottoman now you can see the bed itself the mattress itself lifted and the storage space underneath Ross wanted me to tell you that it can also be side opening. This one, as you can see, opens from the back to the front. There is another version available which opens from the side. Top class actual beds and mattresses here. Around the other side where the beds are. It's a very nice one. But they're all very nice. And another company that Ross asked me to point out. It's called Beauty Sleep. And again, I'm going to hold out the necessary details of this. All the prices and the sizes for you. going to turn around to show you Ross has appeared again at the end there with all the beds either side so that's our visit to this shop which only opened last weekend I think this is about the fourth day of them trading and I wish them all the very best as I'm sure all the viewers will as well and can I please ask if you're in the market for a natural bed, would you please come and see Ross and his partners, please? Because these beds, they're a little bit extra special. They're well presented and well made. And Ross will give you every help and information on this. So I'm just going to turn around and Ross will say very goodbye to us. Bye. Please come and see us. And I'm sure that they will do very well because how they presented these beds, especially this one here, this ottoman looks very interesting. And again, as I say, all of them are very, very well made. Now we have just moved along now to Topping Street, just around the corner from where we just there's Jilly Bobs across the road and what I would like to show you this morning and confirm to you this morning this very very attractive corner shop here I told you last week that it has been well, I can certainly confirm with you this morning, it has. A, a lovely shop, and it goes around here as well, into Topping Street. And I can confirm that this is going to be a pet shop with accessories. So that's wonderful, wonderful news for Topping Street and this beautiful row of newly presented shop fronts. Only one remains, and I'm just going to show you that. The only shop now. The Are you a YouTuber? 
The only shop now that remains is this unit next door to Alfie's. I'm going to move along and show you. There it is across the road. The only unit left now, next door to Alfie's. All the others taken. The Glamour Bar. Hillary is opening up the next shop as a homeware shop. Then you have the news agents. And then, as I've just said, news of this corner one going to be a pet shop with accessories. The front of the Premier Inn. And please notice the arrival this morning of those paving blocks that are needed here. And also, I would like to point out how nicely that half dried concrete that we see being poured yesterday has settled. We are across the road now and we can look back to the front of this hotel and we can notice that the whole length, the whole length of the front of this hotel has received the base coat of that half dried concrete that we see being laid yesterday. It's all been laid at the front. And now we are approaching the side of the build. I've just got to cross the road and be careful here. I am safe and this is a view of the side and also I can show you I'll just show you the side again and then I'm going to show you a very quick shot there's the side and now a very quick shot running up the back at ground level and this completes our visit today to the Premier Inn A very good morning to everybody. It's a glorious sunny morning here on the first day of October. Brilliant, brilliant sunshine. Just to show you where we are, there's Blackpool Tower. And I'm just going to show you this quickly. This is a walkthrough. This is here for the illumination period. You can simply walk through it and it is lit up. There's all LED lights on all of those still frames that you can see. And the porter cabin that you can see in front of you now is where the power comes from. So as you can see on this lovely, lovely morning, I thought you might like to see the promenade, a view of what you just see, a view of the tower, and I'm just going to take you down to see the Irish Sea. And of course, in that same scene, we can see the North Pier. Marvellous, marvellous day here, the first day of October. With this view, we now must move on to our first visit, which is the Wilco store. Sainsbury store in front and now we have a full view of a mobile crane here working this morning and it's taking away a piece of the auger. I'm told that they're changing it from a corkscrew to a hammer type auger. This is what I was told. Quite a lot of work to be done here because, as you've been told, the Wilco store is lower than the pavements and the road area. Very, very complex and interesting. And not forgetting that subway. That subway is going to be extended. And 
you will hopefully learn more than that more than this later on in this particular video I do hope you enjoy all this visit here to the Wilco store this morning in front the sign of Robertson now they are the main and principal contractors here on the right is the flying handbag just to show where we are and I'm very excited at the moment because one of the management team is going to take me to see a model of the new hotel that will be built here and everything else involved so I'm very very pleased and I do hope that it works out a very good morning to everybody now I'm very very lucky here I am I am in the porter cabin of Robertson now Robertson are the main contractors here and I'm very fortunate enough to be able to show you the scale model of what is happening here now in front as said is a scale module is a scale model of the project on my left that would be Queen Street this here and on my right would be Talbot Road above that will be the you can see the new hotel itself just going to walk around here now one of the things I must to point out the underpass there will be an underpass for all the passengers arriving and leaving at Blackpool North Railway Station can you see it under there can you see it there the passengers will actually walk under the hotel and the railway station would be positioned probably somewhere where this screen is here so again I thank Robertson very very much indeed I've had wonderful help for them and I hope through this lovely model here this portrays something of what it would look this is what it will look like I hope I'm taking the correct angled pictures so once again we have Queen Street to our left this would be Talbot Road the hotel above and the most interesting piece I think is the knowledge the passengers will walk under the hotel to the railway station so all I've got to do now is to thank Robertson very very much for allowing myself to view this lovely lovely model I'm just going to put the glass cage back now there we are somebody's helped me to put the glass cage back so that's our visit this morning to this lovely porter cabin of Robertson. There is no wind here today so I'm able to view from the outside and we are now at the end of Queen Street and here is a view for you. We've just, down, we've just walked down from the porter cabins walking along a few paces enables us now to have a full view of the front and what marvelous progress here made look they've eaten right into the front of this wilco store and a few paces to my right again will enable you to see a full view of the front of the wilco store and these three pieces of plant machinery all working together eating chewing and knocking this wilco store to pieces
right down to ground floor level. So I do hope this morning that you have enjoyed this visit on this lovely, lovely morning, Thursday, the 1st of October. The side elevation which meets the start of the rear of the Premier Inn. And all of this area of the rear is going to be laid in those paving tiles that you see yesterday. I've just crossed the road and moved up further and I can quickly show you all of the area that will receive those paving tiles. Yes, all of this will be under paving tiles that you see yesterday. The construction firm of Barnfield. And here is a view looking down the rear, which will bring our visit today to a close to the Premier Inn. Welcome, Saturday morning, 11.30. And this is to bring you right up to date with the Wilco store. Now there's two views for you. This is the first one, and there is obviously then a second one. The second one will show you fully the wonderful progress that has been made here. What you are looking at at the moment will not fully, you will not fully appreciate the wonderful progress as said that has been made here. I was quite, I, I was quite shocked to see this from the secondary view that I'm going to take you to. It's going to be a wet day here today. You will keep rolling along. And this is the view that I wanted to, to actually bring to you. Can you see how deep and how far they have gone into this Wilco store? A marvellous week's progress here. I have had to return to the front now of Wilco store due to the fact that yes, it started to rain and within the next hour or two it's absolutely going to pour down so i must press on now with whatever i can do for this particular day and i'm sure that that second view that you had a look at will explain and show the wonderful progress as already said at this wilco store for this very very productive week On leaving the North Pier, I would like to show you this. Now, this is the wedding chapel this morning, and they are awaiting their first wedding of the day. In actual fact, there are two of them. The main entrance to the Hounds Hill Shopping Centre. We are going directly opposite. A return visit to the frame shop quality framed pictures here. Yes, we are inside now and the first thing we see is this here. A very well known advert. And these are 3D pictures for the price of £10. This just a, this just a quick, very quick visit because it's Saturday and they're very busy. Just wanted to show you their offers today. <laughs> All of these are five pounds on here. And I've just got time very, very quickly. As I've said, it's Saturday and there's people waiting to get into the shop. Now, all these lovely framed pictures, they are greatly reduced 
and will be for a little while. Scenes, animals. The animals are one of my favourites, but there's something for everything in this shop. Beautifully framed. And there's another 3D picture there. We have a longer video from this shop in the previous part. So I have to press on now because there's people waiting to get in. Now, with the support of all my viewers and all the shop owners and all the attraction owners, this channel is not going to the dogs. We're just going to pay Tony a visit across the road in his actual bread basket. Now, I will tell you, I'm wet, very, very wet. So after this, I must go home and get changed and have a nice cup of tea. Bye bye everybody. Uh, my name's Tony. Welcome to the Bread Basket on this uh, rainy Saturday. Um, if you call in, uh, you can have a free chocolate truffle on this day. Thank you very much.